Hi Stamping Friends, this is Sierra from Sierra Sweet Sensations. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this card that I've created for the Stamping Friends blog hop. This video will show you how I created this multicolored leaf using the technique that's called the Joseph's Coat Stamping Technique. I'll be using the image that's found in the Light Hearted Leaves stamp set that's located in the Stampin' Up's Holiday Catalog. All of the products that I've used along with the dimensions for this card can be found on my blog at sierrasweetsensations.com. I'll have the link and the information below this video. So let's get started. First, we'll need a piece of very vanilla cardstock and some ink. I chose to use Delightful Dijon. Cucumber Crush and Tangelo Twist. We'll be sponging, so you need to grab some sponges. Now, there is no right or wrong way to do this, but I'm going to start with my delightful Dijon, and I like to start by sponging off and then adding the color to my card. And you're just going to randomly add color to different parts of this cardstock. Then I'm going to take my Tangelo Twist and again just adding color randomly. And finally adding some crushed cucumber. Filling up and just adding some color. Once that's done, you might want to take your heating tool and just add some heat to dry the ink off the card. You want to take your Stampin' Buddy and just run it across of your inked card stock. Once that is done, take Versamark ink and ink up your image. Carefully stamp it onto your cardstock. And I like to take a scratch piece of paper and put it under my cardstock. While I pour the clear embossing powder over the image. and tap off the excess. With your heat gun, go ahead and... Once you've got the image heat embossed, and I don't think you can see it, but... Take early espresso ink and a brayer and ink up your brayer and run your brayer over your image and get it really really inked up Nice. 
size and eight. Once you've completely inked up your image with your brayer, take a napkin or a paper towel and just wipe off the excess ink off the image. Now you're ready to use your framelit die on your Big Shot to cut out the image. I'm going to take, use the maple leaf die that's in this set, sandwich it between two cutting plates, And there you have it. 